I do have a favor to ask, okay? I mentioned this on tonight's late stream. I'm gonna be, probably be mentioning it on every stream this week. Um, here's the deal. This week, I have two very large bills due. But then, I also have my day off on Wednesday. I'm bringing this up because I need you to refocus your support if you were already planning on supporting me this weekend. This one's for all my baby girls. Phil's a joke, Phil's a clown. Fucking loser. Phil's this, Phil's that. He's alone, Kyle. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a joke, Phil's a clown. Phil's this, Phil's that. Always going bro. Phil's a beggar. He's alone, Kyle. Phil's a beggar. If you think that someone who has to live day to day on tips and shit is funny, oh, so hilarious that this guy has stuff financially tight. Ha 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 ha. No, it's not fucking funny. Now shut up. Phil's a joke, Phil's a clown. Phil's this, Phil's that. He's alone, cow. Phil's a beggar. Bagging. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a joke, Phil's a clown. Always going brown. Phil's this, Phil's that. He's alone, cow. Phil's a beggar. He's alone, cow. Phil's a beggar. That's not biggie. Okay, I'll be honest, it's ner it makes me nervous because I've noticed recently there's actually been an uptick in Super Chats, which is great. It helps the channel long term, and certainly I'm not being ungrateful. And if that's the only way that you can contribute or support the channel, great. If you can help me and tip me, please do. That's what I need help with right now, okay? Again, I'm not asking for anything above and beyond. You know idiots will come out and prayers. Ah, oh, Phil's saying he wants you to pay directly. This dude is a piece of fucking garbage. Yesterday was a really slow day for me on stream. I didn't make a lot of, of, of support yesterday. It's you guys and, and you know, how much you're liking the content I'm doing in a given day, how much you can afford to support that content. Can you argue it's a begging model? I, I mean, I guess. This dude is a piece of fucking garbage. I need this money, this money, this money. I get this money, this money, this money. Yes. Beg for this money, this money, this money. I want that money, I want that money. The only time I chill is when I pay my bills. The only time I get the chill is when I spend the bills. Scumbags and mental cases on the internet still support. I'm a beggar and I'm a loser and I'm on level one. And I can't go on a honeymoon with my wife. I'm paycheck to paycheck. I'm on level one. I need this money, this money, this money. I get this money, this money, this money. Beg for this money, this money, this money. I want that money, the money, the money. The only time I chill is when I pay my bills. The only time I get the chill is when I spend the bills. I need this money, this money, this money. I get this money, this money. Beg for this money, this money, this money. I want that money, the money, the money. The only time I chill is when I pay my bills. The only time I get the chill is when I spend the bills. If you are watching his shows and you're paying his bills, you're a fucking, you're, you're, you're a fucking loser. You should not support this guy. He had the opportunity to make serious money to entertain you, and he wouldn't do it. But you're gonna still fucking give him $200? You're gonna give him $50 to pay his fucking bills? Nah, you got a job, you keep your money. Fuck that guy. I understand that people right now are so hyped for the gifted memberships, and I'm very grateful for that. I mean, thank you. But I hope that that doesn't mean that people are gonna forego tipping, because that would put me in a bad situation. And in particular, in particular, I don't know why you guys, okay, why are you laughing? Grocery shopping, tips, meal with my wife, tips, coming up my day off on Tuesday, tips, Nintendo Online, tips, bills and stuff, tips, tips are the liquidity of my business, huh? Why are you laughing? Oh, so hilarious that this guy has stuff financially tight, huh? I literally can't afford stuff on Tuesday on my day off, and you're gonna laugh? Oh, that's funny. When you can't go and do something with your family on your day off, your one day off for the week when you're working full time six days a week. That's funny, right? No, it's not fucking funny. Now shut up. Grocery shopping, tips. Meal with my wife, tips. Coming up my day off on Tuesday, tips. 
Nintendo Online tips, bills and stuff tips. Tips are the liquidity of my business. Grocery shopping tips, meal with my wife tips. Coming up, my day off on Tuesday tips. Nintendo Online tips, bills and stuff tips. Tips are the liquidity of my business. Huh? This one's for all my baby girls. Now what does the sugar do in the sauce? Adds sweetness, adds a contrast. If you don't, it's all gonna be tartness and you mm -hmm. won't have any it's kind of sweetness It's gonna be acidity from sauce. tomatoes. Right, you'll have and then tart, spice. tart and it's acid and nothing else. Um, all right, so now we gotta stir all that in and then we add our final ingredients and then the meat. This one's for all my baby girls. Italian life. Italian wife, Italian bills, Italian dark side fit, Italian life, Italian wife, Italian chill, Italian can't give her a pill. I'm half kind of European mix, European style, Asian fusion style tips, greasy hair, pasta once a week. Authentic style, Asian fusion style, Italian. Guess what else we're gonna add? What? Sausage. <gasps> Italian sausage. That's gonna go in here too. I love sausage. I have had many varieties. Italian life. Italian wife. Italian bills. Italian dark side fit. Italian life. Italian wife, Italian chill, Italian can't give her a pill. Why do you pretend to be Italian? I don't. I'm not full-blooded Italian. That'd be ridiculous for me to claim. I am a quarter Italian. I am one quarter Polish, and then I'm half kind of European mix. It complements the flavor perfectly. And it's so weird because it's nothing like any other cuisine. It really isn't. It I can't even tell you another cuisine that tastes like that. But it's, it's so good. And you, you know, I, what I like about Mediterranean food is usually when you get it, you get such a good variety of stuff. Like I got something that came with hummus and pitas. You dip the pitas in the hummus and that was delicious. Robust, insanely flavorful chicken. It's not dry. It's freaking robust. Give me this dipping sauce. It's garlic infused dipping sauce. Robust. Um, I will tell you guys is thus. Robust. Robust. They came with their rice, which is the seasoned rice. The taste tastes, again, it tastes kind of different from other cultural, other cultural rices. It has peas and carrots, but it's also got this unique seasoning in it that's really good. And, uh, and then also a side salad, which was like lettuce, tomato, onion, robust, insanely flavorful chicken. It's not dry. It's freaking robust. Give me this dipping sauce. It's garlic infused dipping sauce. Robust. Um, I will tell you guys is thus. Robust. 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 We went and got dinner. Now, this was a double-edged sword. We knew that the restaurant we were going to was probably gonna be good. It was a very high-end uh, uh, Chinese-style, Asian fusion-style restaurant, okay? 